Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I am one of three very excellent hosts. <laughs> What's your name? Luis De La Torre. <laughs> okay, okay, your name's Luis. All right. Mm -hmm. I am host two of three, Dai Kai Ju Tony. I am three of three. Three. Three, six, three. nine. Adam Crick. Wow. <laughs> three of three of three of three. Totally. Three of three of three. Awesome. Uh, before we can continue, let's talk about our sponsor, the jewel of the Mojave Desert, Cosmic Comics. Uh, we have everything that your nerdy heart could ever desire, yep. including but not limited to Pops figures. That's true. <laughs> ah! And we also ship. Yeah, and also like comics or whatever. You can find us online and have it shipped directly to your house, no matter yeah, exactly. where in the country you are. Any of the cool things that we have, you can have them shipped straight to you. I recommend it. You don't have to go out and do nothing. Like what, this. What do you got? Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge, World of the Dragon Lords. Ooh. Is, that a, is that new or is that like that is old brand, comics? No, nah, it's brand new. What? I, I don't know if it's reprinted old comics or not, but it's first time collected together. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Unless they revived Carl Bark somehow to write it. I don't know that I would. No, I'm just kidding. It right, looks right. great. It looks <laughs> what great. do you guys got? I got Jinji Ito's <laughs> Cat Diary. Nice. Yes. I actually it, own that book, the soft cover, but the new, the hard cover is brand, yes, this is brand new. New hard cover. Yep. It's basically a story of Jinji Ito and his cats, since he's a cat person. Well, no. It's about his wife's cats. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about his wife's cats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how they're terrors to him? Is that what's well, happening here? Kind of, well, he thought. He was afraid of them. Like, he is, was this, a, is this very he was Michigan J. Frog where, like, the cats <laughs> do messed up things, and then, like, no. when the wife shows up, they're all, like, sweet, and he's like, no, yeah. they're trying to kill me, and she's like, come on, Junji. No, it's actually very cute. Come on, It's Junji. very cute, but he has horrific visions of what they're going to do, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it's it is Junji. You know, yeah. What do you yeah. have? What do you have? I also have uh, some manga for the, the young people. Um... Let's start off with this big old bad boy right here. Tony said I was too old to read this, and I think you might be right, but he it looks cool as hell. He was too old to read no, it. I'm too old to read Demon Slayer. Oh, you're too old to read it. He was yes. insulting so then you I must by be doing way so. way <laughs> older to read Demon Slayer. Anyway, here is a Demon Slayer complete box set with volumes right. 1 through 23. Full color, double-sided poster included. Right. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of... Look, that's a pretty box. I mean, look at this artwork. Don't drop like, it. I'm not, don't drop it. And Do not drop it. We've only it. had it. Uh, like a week and a half, and we've sold over half of them. Uh, there's two Holy here crap. at the moment, guys. Uh, apparently, well, well, there's uh, a few more than that, but yeah, yeah. Apparently, since Tony's too old to read it, I can't read it either. It looks so cool, though. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, if your kids don't like that, they might like Booty Royale. Nice. Right? Oh, no, I think this is for older kids. Yes, no, it's... don't buy this for your kids. <laughs> Parents, I, I guess buy it for yourself if this is what you're into. Or if, this, or if looking at this picture has awakened something in you. Yes, and parents, if you are afraid of what your kids are looking at on the internet, just press the N key and you'll see a certain manga site. And right. yeah. Oh boy. All right. right so. in the search <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is <laughs> we have a comics, multitude yeah. of manga. Yeah. So yes, we have know. more mangas. Yep. Yeah, it is manga. It's not anything else. All right. Um, so yeah, come on down. We have a bunch of stuff. We have we very knowledgeable staff. Come to the website. Go to the website. We have something shipped so you don't have to come here, I guess. Yeah. But look, I know why you guys really don't want to come here, Tony. But... <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Anyway, come on down, talk to one of our friendly people, and get something cool for yourself or someone else. The holidays right. are coming up. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Ho, so let's ho, get into ho. it. So let's talk about one of the greatest uh, live action adaptations of a mediocre anime series Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. We're going to review. <laughs> I'm sorry. Net uh, I could yeah. say that with a straight the, face. The I Netflix love the show, so Cowboy much. Bebop. Yeah. Episode one. Although you guys have seen more, I've only seen the first episode. I. I <sighs> Uh, I totally, uh, I misunderstood what we were going to do, so I watched all 10 episodes in a day. <laughs> you um, poor thing. Now, I love, I love Cowboy, I, uh, given what I said earlier, I love Cowboy Bebop, the anime, right, right. so much. And uh, this was um, something that exists. Yeah. So, we're going to talk about, we're gonna I talk guess, about. the first episode, I guess I can give some insight as to the rest of the series. Uh, uh, I, I mean, initial thoughts, guys. What did, what did you think about, like, the trailer and all, like, the photos that were dropping before the series came out? I didn't care. I tried to stay away from that kind of stuff. I just wanted to watch the show, and, um, mm. yeah, it was good. I really liked it. <laughs> What does that look for? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I thought you. it was really You've good. You've been saying that for an hour now, and I do not believe you. <laughs> it was great. You're messing with me. Stop. What do you guys Stop. think? Stop. Uh, I mean, 
I can enjoy it as a dumb parody of Cowboy Bebop, like I'm watching a Mega 64 video. Wow. Oof. Um, like, I thought it was at, at best mediocre. I think there's a lot of good in there. I see the potential for some things, but honestly, as a whole, it just it was underwhelming. It was underwhelming. And then and then we were just talking about Ed too, and um, uh, yeah, it just uh, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Um, <laughs> did you really like it? Are you are you messing with her? Did you really like it? It was like great. It? You it's Why you, you sound so insincere. <laughs> it's either me or you're doing it on purpose. Uh, Tony, come on. Okay, well, let's talk about the casting. Uh, okay, let's John, talk about John the casting. John Cho as Spike Spiegel. <sighs> John Cho as Spike Spiegel uh, was not bad. He's too old. That's I think all I'm, I'm just going to say it out loud. He's too old. There are some scenes where he looks very old. He's an older gentleman. Spike and, Spiegel is supposed to be like, what, 29? 27. In the, or 27 yeah. in the anime? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, no, 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 that didn't bother me. I think his, the characterization of Spike uh, it made him seem a lot meaner, a lot more underhanded, to where Spike was not that mean or underhanded, at least not in the anime series. He was quite aloof, but that was about it. Okay, yeah. well, the one thing I'll defend about John Cho as Spike Spiegel, at the very least, they got someone who knows martial arts to play a martial artist character. I unlike, didn't know John, uh, Chu, John Cho actually knew martial arts. On, unlike Netflix's Iron Fist. Did that guy not know martial arts? No. Well, you know what? I don't expect no. you to know martial arts no, going okay. into it. To I defend, expect you to learn martial arts, right? To defend that it. poor guy is he was cast late and he basically, they had to start shooting the show. So considering all that, he did fine. Yeah, I heard <laughs> but he, he was clearly the weakest yeah. fighter I, on the I, show. The I weakest. heard he had to go to a strip mall at least a mile away from set first <laughs> thing in the morning. And then karate for kids. Yeah, for karate for kids. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, thought it, John, I know. I, I think John Cho... I think he was fine. I just think the way we, maybe the way Spike was written was not to my liking. So I don't blame him for 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 Spike in any way, shape, I or mean, form. Yeah. I, I could be a better Spike Spiegel than him. In the same way, I could be a better Iron Fist than Netflix Iron Fist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Because uh, I've actually studied Taekwondo okay. and karate. Well, I need neither of them knew mm. either of those things. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a, <laughs> I'm a 12th degree Taibo practitioner. So. Taibo, yeah, yeah. Tybo. As in, I only work out when the infomercial's on. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Billy Blanks. Uh, let, okay, so we're still, we're still. Let's let, let's go on. Let's move on yeah, here. Yeah. Um, right. John Cho is Spike Spiegel. Yeah. All right, got that. How about everybody else? How about Mustafa Shakir as uh, as love, Jet Black? I love that guy. Yeah, he does. A He's a great dude. He's yeah. a pretty. He was a good. He was a good Jet. I mm-hmm. enjoyed it. Yep. I I don't know if I like the idea of giving him a family. Because um, yeah. he didn't have a family in the in the anime series. Now, but... I, forget, I forget. Was he an ex cop in the anime? He was an ex cop okay. in the anime. He was, was a detective. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, in well, in, in relation to his character design and costumes and all that, I like that a lot of it is practical effects. Like the only time it needs to be CGI is all the space scenes. You mean those weren't real? I <laughs> wish they were real. I'd have my own. Um, Ship that says Bebop. Right, right. <laughs> With a filthy toilet. I'd be totally With a filthy, that. gross toilet. Uh, what about De- Daniela Pineda as Faye she, Valentine? I think she did a decent job as Faye. I think so, too. She was definitely like a more present day kind of... Th- like. Because in the anime series, she comes from a different time. Like a time before yes. the series takes place. Yeah, she was like frozen in time and... Yeah, right, she, and, I, and I think, and they did the same thing here, except for she was. It seems like she was from a time that's closer to our time than it was to uh, uh, the, the one in the anime series. Yep. She did use "dickhead" a lot. She did. She did <laughs> a lot of insult uh, with the word the one, "dick" in it, and she never did that she, in the. In she's the, the uh, one who anime. does. Doesn't she do most of the swearing in the Netflix show? She does a lot of the swearing in the Netflix show. Ooh. Yeah. She does. <laughs> uh, what did you What did you think of Vicious? Cool. This is my least favorite person in the whole show. I, okay, <laughs> looking at Vicious, it, the first thing I think of is someone trying to make Geralt from Witcher in <laughs> GTA Online. Mm-hmm. You're like, look, oh, okay, I'm gonna make my character look like Geralt in GTA Online. So, and he, Vicious in the show is the end result of that. Okay, I don't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't like his character. Honestly, I thought. I thought he was a. I thought he was a good villain for another movie, not so much Cowboy Bebop because in the anime he's like way more mysterious and a lot more cruel. Yeah. Um, and I really like that aspect of, of Vicious, but in this one, like he just kind of seems like, like he's just like a toady, son of a, 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 a 
main crime boss yep. trying to prove to his dad that he could do it. Like, okay, cool. I mean, that works in The Godfather, but like, <laughs> you make you kind of okay, make Sonny you, you kinda, yeah. yeah, you kind of make him. You kind of make Vicious look like a chump. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think of Vicious as a villain? Since you liked it, I did not like his introduction though, because just because of the way it was shot, where he's like, oh, like, um, well, okay. Well, first of all, Spike Spiegel, he goes, Spike Spiegel is, is an alias in this show. I forgot what his name was when he was... Fearless. Yeah, Fearless. And, like, <sighs> Man, like that oh... That was stupid. That was dumb. Like, Fearless is back, and then you just see him uh, remove a part of his jacket, you see a sword, but all of a sudden, it's cut to the guy with his throat slit, and he's dead on the ground, and you just hear a death sound effect. I'm like... It's because he was that fast. I'm like, was... really? <laughs> He like that fast. I get, yeah, I get that this is supposed to be shot in homage to a lot of old westernish type movies, but at uh, the same yeah. time, like I mean, this, the an- that's what the anime was, yeah. Yeah, this is like an M-rated show, and yet you you can't show a guy getting his throat slit like that. It's style, Tony. Yeah, it's, it, style. it's it's stylized. It's I mean, they obviously style. did it because it came from a uh, an anime series. Right. I don't. What would you think? Well, I only have vicious. the first episode to go off of. So okay, uh, so first episode that you loved, you absolutely loved it. What, what what do you think of Vicious? Um, sorry. I, you know, he really wasn't in it enough for me to care either one way or the other. Mm. He was edgelord, totally like, okay, look at this edgelord dude. <laughs> he does start off as edgelord, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. he sort of just becomes like Turns into a whiny. whiny. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's terrible. It's an insanely I think, terrible. I, I've seen that actor in other stuff before, though. Uh, I didn't think he was familiar. Who, oh, the uh, the Alex Alex Hassel was he in Game yeah. of Thrones? Pro, you know what? He's English, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't see here that he was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's in the Boys. That's who. <laughs> translucent. Oh, he was translucent. Oh. Yeah. That's why he looked familiar, and I even thought I remember thinking that. Yeah, I remember thinking that. He yeah. looks like translucent. <laughs> he's in a he's in a lot of movies. Hey, well, yeah, I yeah, did he not a, see. He has a lot of chest hair. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> wow, Tony, okay. <laughs> it's the first thing you notice. I'm proud of you. Um, it's like the chest king, hair that's king of like, Moo. He had so much <laughs> chest hair. It's like, off, it's like chest hair that's like off color to his hair and his actual head. So, Right. I think the wig makes him look <laughs> odd. Do you, have you ever like... Have you ever, like put on a wig like for fun or something like like yeah you know what I mean like at a costume shop or something and then you look at yourself and you're like oh my gosh is that what it looks like with long yeah, hair like, I, I had a bl- I had a blonde wig once so yeah. nice. like, like it just doesn't suit you when you put it on you know no, what I mean really like nice like I've done that's what it looked like with him like he just be put on a wig and it's like that doesn't look great on you man like no no it looks cool like oh it, it looks doesn't cool though. it doesn't I'm an edge lord an edge lord cool <laughs> I'm cool oh boy. <laughs> My custom character's Gerald now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So character-wise, I think everyone did fine. Mm. I think everyone did okay. I think the dog who played Ayn was good. Yes. No, I think everyone did a fine job. I, I think the only problem I had was like the characterizations of Spike and and Vicious. I'm sorry, Fearless. Fearless, <laughs> fearless and Vicious. Yeah. Oh boy. So Spike Spiegel, the alias, since. Spike Spiegel apparently is in his real name. Oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, so let's let's talk. Where, what, where do you want to start? Fearless is his real name. That since doesn't since make any sense. we're only going to talk about the first episode, right? Um, right. And I may come in with like a few things from later on in the series, but uh, let's talk about the first episode. Then, do you want to you want to go good or bad? Uh, 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 well, we always start with bad, so let's go bad. You want to go bad? Okay. What? Yeah. Did, okay. What was bad about it? What did you hate about it? Nothing. It was amazing. You. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to think of the bad. Is uh, that what this episode is gonna be? Oh, oh, okay. Do I look like a joke to you? Oh, I'm thinking, thinking. Uh, because I'm trying to like dig up what I remember from that first episode since I tried burying it in my head. Wow. Oh boy, is it that bad? Uh, well. So it's basically Asteroid Blues, uh, the first episode yeah. of the anime, but in live action form. Yeah. What? Uh, what? 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 Anyway, go ahead. What do you mean, what? Yeah, it is. Go ahead. So the first episode yeah. of, of the anime is called Asteroid Blues. Right. Uh-huh. It's basically that episode, ch- changed slightly, but yeah. it's that first episode is the first episode of Cowboy. You didn't I, watch it. I thought you we didn't wait. Watch I thought we were talking about the animated one on Netflix. That was amazing. Oh my! God. I loved it. Ah. Uh, well, we're talking about the live action. Yeah. Oh, that was shit. <laughs> it's <was> terrible. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna take this serious. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here. Okay, okay the casino scene was dumb. 
I just I thought it was dumb. It okay. just, I like I like the fight choreography. It, it showed for, for it, the most part. It showed John Cho's uh, Spike is like uh, just reckless American action oh. hero. He bull. Yeah, crap. but there. I hate so you. Dumb. I hate it's you so much. But God, there, I was waiting for you guys some... to set that up. But there, <laughs> but there were times during the fights where John Cho fighting. It's good though. It's honestly, good. reminds me of when Roger Moore was in uh, A View to a Kill, where like this, the way it was shot is like an old guy like him can really move that much when fighting so mm. yeah yeah no no your hand <laughs> oh sorry so like okay so you didn't yeah. like the casino scene i th- i it just seemed pointless right uh and it just it portrayed spike as really reckless yeah to which, whereas like he he may like just he seem just, reckless give a crap right reckless. yeah 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 and that's not who spike was no i think everything he did had a, a meaning purpose, or some sort yeah. of purpose even if it looked reckless yeah. but seem very american which i didn't like well i mean yeah american action, yeah, yeah this is like, definitely yeah. like oh. just from that first scene you can tell this is uh, an ad- an american adaptation of an yeah. anime series yeah. yes um i think there's a little bit of anime spike there but it's not <laughs> it's not enough to like really do. that's the that's the one thing i didn't like was like his the yeah, character is, age too. the john character is, age i don't too, yeah. blame john cho for that though like i don't think that's his fault yeah. i i i think it's all in the writing I think it's in the it's in the writing, dude. It's in the writing. It really makes him look, yeah, reckless. Yeah. Uh, kind of, kind of like a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah which uh, Spike was not he, a jerk. Yeah, he, like you said, he was aloof, but he wasn't. He wasn't intentionally a jerk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And this, it seemed like he was almost intentionally a jerk. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And like, there's the inter- I didn't like the conflict between him and Jet, where Jet's like, we're supposed to be partners. We're supposed to like. Know everything about each other and not to hold any secrets behind us. I'm complicated. And like, and Spike yeah. is trying to hide the fact that he is an ex in the kit, and Spike isn't his real name to him. I just, you know, there's there's certainly an obsession in uh, more modern media of all types, whether it's comic books or movies, where they always have to have like a subplot within a subplot within a subplot, and it gets exhausting. It's right. Like, you don't need to have all that. I mean, they even gave frigging. Uh, what is his name? The bad guy. Well, not the bad guy. The uh, and his girlfriend. Um, right. Vicious. Why is his name? No, no. Why is his name escaping me? The guy that stole the red eye. Okay. They, they oh, even oh, gave oh, them yeah. a backstory. Like what? Yeah, Asimov. Yeah. Asimov. That's. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it was just I don't know. It seems needless. I mean, that was their story. I mean, they I mean, they stole a bunch of drugs from the syndicate. Right, but she so. turns out to be some heiress's daughter. Yeah, that part was like, like that, that was weird. But it, that was that, like to introduce Faye, and yeah, and even yeah. then it was just like ah what like, why, why, what yeah. What? You didn't even need to mention that. You could just like oh Faye's just after. You don't have to mention that she's the daughter of some rich guy. Yeah. Yeah, not to mention that doesn't necessarily make her look like a bounty hunter, more like a private detective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, because she said she was hired, right? Yeah. I don't know. It just, the whole thing just kind of seemed, the part, everything was there. Like, they even, they, like, even like Ian Asimov and his girlfriend, they, like, they looked like. Oh, she was gorgeous. Yeah, they looked like the, yeah, like, they, they just jumped out of the anime. Kind it's of, crazy. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they just basically, they, they butchered that first episode of the anime a little yeah, bit. I yeah, I just. I think what got me, and I guess this is all I really need to say about what I didn't like about it, is mm. it just, since it was literally the first episode again, it just seemed pointless. Right. It's like, oh, so I'm just getting the exact same thing over? Right. But edgier. <laughs> but edgelord. I mean, I do, I will say, because I, I watched all 10 episodes, <laughs> I, I do appreciate that it's not just the anime, but live action, it that was, they went in a different one way. Well, episode like, one, yeah. w- episode one being like, the biggest offender of that yeah. but every other episode just oh, had like okay. bits or setups from Sprinkles. the anime Sprinkles. yeah and then it just kind of went its own way okay so i mean at least it didn't do that like the whole show although i do wish the ah oh, that's in the second episode we're gonna talk about it um <laughs> i already talked about the, uh, the second episode so, a little bit with the okay so distrust. my favorite episode in the anime is called cowboy funk yeah. yeah, which is the one with the teddy bear bomber guy and yeah. the cowboy and yeah, that's right? what episode two is. Yeah, is episode about. two. Yeah, you. Oh yeah, that's right. You saw it. episode two had the teddy bomber guy, but like there was no Andy. There was no. There was no real like they didn't really do too much with teddy bomber there. But again, I appreciate that they didn't exactly just remake the anime yeah. into yeah. a live action show. Okay, what about like? Uh, yeah. So what did what did you guys like? What did we like about it? Like the soundtrack, which isn't saying much. That's, it's, yeah, that's, it's the exact same soundtrack. That's, that's, it is yeah. the exact that's same super soundtrack. low hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is literally the same person, the so, same soundtrack. So in the credits, it's it amazing, says yeah. music by Yoko Kano, yeah. right? 
Yep. Which she's great. She's she amazing, did the music yeah. for the anime. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, I thought she had made new music for this. No. And really, they just put her name on it because they used her music from the anime series. Did they? So yeah. So That's don't. That's one uh, way to save money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they remixed some stuff, but it was yeah. basically it was the same soundtrack. Same stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that that wasn't really anything, anything all that special. Yeah. Right. You know, besides the fact that it's Yoko um, Kano's music. I like. And I would like to see more of this. I, th- I forgot we were talking about likes. We were just complaining for like a minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're already, we're already, you know, because I don't have my <laughs> cards. We have t- about ten minutes left. I don't have my <laughs> cards. I gotta get my cards. Um, um, I I want to see this more. I liked that it st- it tried to set up almost like a working sort of living, breathing, spacefaring world or universe. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like the stargates, the ships. Um, it didn't seem quite as good as the anime, and maybe that was cost, you know, where the head ships just lined up waiting to go through the Stargates or right. whatever. But I always like that. I always like that kind of feeling, like it feels like a much bigger world. Yeah, it is a very, like, retro, future-y, like, yeah. and I like it. You said, just, what did you say? Like it was the modern world, but more of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you had said something about, like, a, it was like a cowboy movie. It's basically yeah. a cowboy movie in space. It's a Western it's a noir. Western noir space. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a space Western noir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it has some heavy detective noir elements. It has some heavy exactly. Western elements. It has some heavy yeah. even yep. romance elements at some point. You know. Yep. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I, w- I would have said Ayn, but Ayn doesn't show up to like, the second episode or third episode, somewhere around there. I think so. Yeah. I didn't see that. No I didn't line. get that far. Okay. Um, I didn't oof. see enough of Faye. I mean, she seemed like Faye. Yeah, she <laughs> kind of disappeared uh, a lot in that episode. Yeah. Right? She didn't show up until like, the end. She, yeah, she was there, and then she didn't show up until the end, yeah. Yeah. Production um, value. What do you think of the production value as a whole? I think it, I think it looks great. Production wise, I think it looked it looked good. Like the 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 Tijuana that he went to, uh, yeah, to to hunt down Asimov. I think it looked really good. Yeah. It looked like it it new, looked lived in. New Tijuana. Yeah. yeah, like if you've ever been to Tijuana or even anywhere in Mexico, it it looks a lot like that. <laughs> it does look a lot. I mean, not as like, yeah. not as impoverished, but it does look a lot like that. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of much else today. I mean, I like Mustafa Shakir. He was awesome. Mm. I can't think of much else. Actually, I just I was very. It's not that I hated it. I didn't hate it. I just right. I didn't. I just. I it's pointless. Like I really, I, and I really kept telling myself, just watch it, take it in, mm-hmm. and I just I kept the same feeling kept coming around. Like this is pointless. I just yeah. I don't understand why the need for this. Right. I mean, the anime already exists. I mean, yeah. it's already great. You know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, maybe maybe that's limited because I only did see the first episode, but it didn't seem like it did anything substantially new or different enough to hold or keep my interest mm-hmm. at all. Or at all, really. I mean, the show was better. And like you said, there was just some scenes. You already said it, but just John Cho looked old. There, yeah, and I like... Because he's my age. I think he's actually like a year old. I, and I like John Cho. I do. I he's just, no kid. Yeah, but yeah, he's there There are some scenes that really sort of show off how old the guy is, yeah. which which kind of sucks. But yeah, yeah and you're, Spike was 27 in the show, I believe, yeah. somewhere around there, 27, 28. Yeah, well, he's twice um, that... John Cho's twice that age. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, he looks great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks great, yeah. He just doesn't there, look There like are times where he's like definitely yeah. showed his age, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, hated hated stuff that we we already kind of talked about some yeah, of the stuff we hated, yeah. right? I mean, I didn't I didn't uh, out and out hate anything. I just want to talk about spray, yeah. a certain <laughs> scene in the last episode that's like the most made fun of part of this show. I, I oh, think ahead, I think yeah. I don't know. I think you should watch. I think people should watch okay, it. Okay. I think people should watch it to get why? to it because it's one of the big complaints that people had okay. is like, why didn't this happen? Like, okay, well there it is. This is this is here it is. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna say this about the without spoiling it. The, the last scene in the, in should, the movie. I mean, show. I don't know. Should we just um, should we just talk about it? Should we just spoil <laughs> it? I mean, it's already on the internet, right? The internet. Well, yeah, just go ahead. Just go ahead. It's yeah. on the internet. Ed makes an appearance and the acting. Ed shows up at the end of the last episode. And uh, so Ed is like completely absent from the show. Everyone was really mad about that. Where's Ed? Blah blah blah. Ed shows up at the end, like yeah. the very end of the last episode. So what did they did Ed's character feel tacked on? Uh the acting, it's like No, it's okay. not even that. But how do I say this with without sounding too cruel? Um Ed acted like some people I knew in high school who thought they were Japanese. Well, to be oh f- boy, ugh, I'm not sure. Really, is that good. what you got from it? To yes. be fair, Ed. <laughs> oh, 
always felt, even in the anime, like like beyond she was putting in a performance. Ed is very cartoonish. Yeah, she's yeah. a very cartoonish character. So right. to try to bring her in real life and All be right. as equally as cartoonish right, is, right, is a right. little bit odd. It's it's yeah. I mean, this girl who plays Ed played Ed from the anime, and that was good. That was yeah. fine. But like seeing it live action, just. It seemed weird. It's like it's like if someone was just walking around in like red shorts. It's like I'm Mickey Mouse. Like, oh no, come on. Oh like, you know what I mean? So what were they doing? Like the SNL skit where there was like the kids, the, the Austin, college kids that were trying to do Japanese culture, and oh, the professor was yeah. like, no, yeah, no. That, that, yeah. oh god, and they're just like, duh, 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 duh. yeah, no, it, uh, it wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. It's, okay. it was, it's a cartoon character but, come to life, but basically. Ed looks like a Spy Kids character in this show. Yeah, her <laughs> hair was weird. Her hair was yeah. like very. Spy, I like that. <laughs> she looked like a spike. Kid. She character. did. She looked like a uh, what's her name? Yeah. Lava girl, like with like the the with goggles. The, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe so I should watch the last it's episode. Theater. Listen, I I, watched, I actually did watch the first episode of the anime after it just to kind of like a palate, palate cleanser. cleanser. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I the week yeah. before the show came on or the the show uh, was Which, released, I watched all of Cowboy Bebop yeah. in the in that week. It just it re it reaffirmed the feeling I already had though. It's like watching the first episode again. I was like, yeah, it really was just kind of pointless. Yeah, the other episode. Maybe other, I should watch more because you guys said it does start to deviate. The other nine episodes are not like this first episode. Yeah. Yeah, I think this might have been just like for people like me to like dip our toe into and just want to watch more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the other ones aren't as egregious as this one is right here. Egregious. At least it, egregious in it's trying to copy the first episode. Right. Here, here's what I will say about, about all the episodes, about mm-hmm. having watched the whole series. Yeah. It's not unwatchable. Yeah. It's just, it's not great. It's not <laughs> yeah. terrible, but it's not good. Well, that's how I felt about the, f- I didn't, yeah, I don't know. And, the, and I think that's what's disappointing. Yeah. Is that it couldn't have at least have been didn't, didn't good. Didn't wow you. No, it didn't wow me. It didn't wow me, but... Like, I wish I could either love it or hate it, but, like, I'm just kind of indifferent toward it. It's yeah. watchable, certainly. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, but it's it's not anything... It's not anything special. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> well, let's wrap it up. Uh, all right, ratings. Um, you should rate the... Right, ratings, sure, we'll yeah. just rate the first episode. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah, yeah, I guess okay, we're right. Yeah, well. we can't rate the whole series. Let's just rate the first episode, first episode and then people can go I from there. Out of four four stars, right? I always <laughs> try forget. not to fall asleep. Out of four stars, mm-hmm. <laughs> Anthony's two. apparently two, two stars. Two yeah. out of four. No, yeah. no, no. That's too nice. One. That's one too star. Nice. Wow. One I was gonna star. go two, mo- mo- yeah. mostly because I had no strong feelings one way or the other. Yeah, that's I was, a solid two, right actually, down the middle. I was actually gonna go two, right? Yeah, as two well, right yeah. down the middle. Just no. Yeah, it was just a. I mean. Is a good carbon copy, I guess, but it was still just a carbon copy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it was still entertaining enough. It was. It was the first episode, but longer. <laughs> right, it was an hour long. It was yeah, an hour each long. Each episode's like almost an hour long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Two, two, one. Oh, are you gonna cry? <laughs> Anthony? what's going on? No, no. I just think I'm just like now. When Netflix are gonna do the One Piece live action. Ew. And what? Seriously? Yes. And that my was Wait, are you are you messing with me right now? Because he messed no. with me the are whole. Are you fun of me, boy? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fun of me, boy? Right. Netflix is they are planning to do a whole line of live action adaptations. Gross. Really? The only one I have faith in is Gundam because Jordan Roberts is involved with it, and um, the writer is. But cute. see, Gundam's something you can do something different with, and that's um, okay. Uh. Because Gundam right. is different. Like uh, every iteration wait, is based, based Is it based on a specific series or is it no. like a, like an original series? It's an original thing, but the writer Brian K. Vaughn. Brian K. Vaughn yeah. is going to be the writer for the Gundam uh, live action. Yeah, but you can do. But Gundam you can do different things with. Yeah. A lot of the animes are all different. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So that's okay. That's like uh, Final Fantasy. You can do whatever you want because right. every one is so different. Yeah. All right. So, so all right. Plug in one piece. Yeah. Let's do plugs. What do you got? I, uh, hey Tony, I see you got a really cool shirt there. Oh, what what yeah. is that? Toku Titan Cast. We, you know, uh, it's a kick-ass Tokusatsu uh, themed live stream that we record on Saturdays, nice. and occasionally we do watch parties. And hey, we got our own merch now. Ooh, look at that! Ooh, nice. and this is this eco-friendly material. It's made out of like some kind of plastic bag, and it feels good. Is what it did e- you? What is it eco-friendly or is it because it's recycled? <laughs> it's, re- it's recycled. It's eco. And, they call it eco-friendly. Yeah, it, makes, it makes yeah. me all. It makes me all hippie-ish, and you oh, know. I was just gonna say, yeah. What did you call it? What did you How call come it? We don't have merch. What's up with that? 
You, we do have merch. Don't you have merch? You have a merch <laughs> Not for store. The show. Oh, I don't know. Come, well, it's your. It's I, I, your. I kind of had to have a shirt of this since I came up with the name. Uh, nice. Oh, okay, so, cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, nice. maybe we'll have something up soon. So go ahead and let them know what the name of the place is, so uh, they might be able to T get something. Public soon. slash Go Fenris or Oddity Collectibles. Same thing. Mm. Um, there actually, there's some. I think Giga Hub shirts from before too so that's cool nothing wrong with that All nothing right. wrong with that there's a cool um, retro one and yeah you guys i just uh i just uh i just launched my only fans uh <laughs> you know OnlyFans i won't be i won't be nude in it they're, they're, i'll just be eating cylindrical foods okay because it's good to know because only fans they're planning on banning very, 18 plus content very which, slowly all right let's get out of here <laughs> all right uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you. Good night. Good night. Tony's asleep and Luis is about to eat cylindrical foods. <laughs>